Hello there, my name is Claire and this is Stitch Hem. So thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Now today's video is all about my October sewing plans. So if that interests you, please stick around with me today. Now, my October sewing plans, as always, are a little bit ambitious. So there is a possibility that some of these will roll into November and I guess it will become sort of autumnal sewing plans. But we're aiming for October and I'll see how I get on. So let's get started on what I'm planning to sew up this month. And here is all the fabrics that I'm looking to sew up this month. So the first item is some pyjama shorts for my youngest son, not pyjama shorts, pyjama trousers in a Spider-Man fabric. And actually, because I'm recording this slightly into September, I've already done it. I'm gonna put these big pile of fabrics down and show you the trousers. So the first item I've actually made is the these pyjamas made out of uh, some Spider-Man cotton fabric for my uh, uh, youngest son. It's from the Patterns for Pirates uh, pattern, the Walk the Pant PJs and it's in the age three size. It's just got elasticated waist and yeah, a really simple pair of uh, trousers. So this was plan one that I've already made. <laughs> so the second plan for the month of October is to use this beautiful piece of fabric. This is a viscose fabric. It's got a, actually got a little bit of stretching, which is unusual, I think, for a viscose fabric. And I bought this fabric from the Fabric Revival. And I'm planning to make the Helen's Closet Gilbert shirt in this. I think this will be really beautiful. It's quite a relaxed shirt anyway, but that little bit of extra stretch in it will make it super comfortable, which I'm really looking forward to. I think this fabric is absolutely beautiful. So I'm hoping this one will turn out really well. There is a version A, I think, that has got the tie version at the front and version B that has just got a straight front to it. And more buttons going down it. I'm not completely sure which version I'm going to go for as yet so if you've got any comments on that please do um, yeah give me drop me a, a line in the comments below on what version you think I should make or if you've made it before if you've got any hints and tips that you think might be useful for me that would be lovely. Now another plan that I've got and I think this was actually a rollover from my uh, September plans is to use this piece of fabric here. This is actually a, I think maybe you call it an ITY fabric. So it's actually a polyester jersey, but it's just beautifully soft. And I picked this up from Pound Fabrics after seeing the lovely Adele from Sofa Serenity sew up a Sirocco jumpsuit in this and she was talking about how beautifully soft this is and it really is like uber uber soft and i think i'd like to make a west cliff dress that's a friday pattern company uh pattern and i think it would be an ideal pattern and make to wear to work so that would just be for my work wardrobe i mean not necessarily exclusively for work but that's kind of what i've got in mind for it now the next piece of fabric, <laughs> now I've been talking about this particular make for literally months on my channel. I have got this wax cotton fabric in this khaki colour, which I am making, going to be making the Parker coat that I've been waffling on about for literally months on my channel for my husband. I'm going to pop a picture in of the pattern. It's a simplicity pattern. Uh, it's a Mimi G um, style one. And I've made a twirl already of this that has worked quite nicely. I just made that in a white cotton uh, fabric and that all seemed to come together quite well. So I've tried out a few of the techniques. I just need to pick up uh, some zips and, I'd, and a slightly different fabric for the lining of the hood. It's only the hood that's lined. And so, and then I can get cracking on that. So I'm hoping um, to get those in the next week or so. And, this needs to be one of my first things that I do in the month because I've been promising my husband this since June. So I need to get 
this one made up definitely this month okay I'm a, this is a bit of a whistle stop store I always get that one whistle stop tour of my fabrics and my plans this month so the next fabric is this gorgeous cotton jersey fabric now I picked this up from the So Haley Jane outlet store and a little while ago she put on uh, her Instagram and also in her newsletter that I receive that she was selling off some of her um, fabrics that had been in previous boxes where she you know had a surplus and but they were some of them are quite, quite a considerable discounted rate so I hopped over to have a look and I picked up this fabric now the lovely Catherine contacted me when I showed this fabric on a, a previous vlog to say that she'd also picked up the fabric. So I got in contact with her to say, how did she fancy doing a collaboration? So this fabric is actually gonna be a collaboration project with the lovely Catherine. And uh, she, Catherine from Soberton Makery. And she's got a beautiful ch channel. I just love watching her. She's really sort of dynamic, really bubbly, just, a joy to watch uh, she hasn't been vlogging for very long but she's done hugely well already and yeah she's you know just lovely to watch so do head over and watch her channel if you haven't already and yeah we're planning on doing collaboration and I'm not going to give the game away too much about what we're planning to do at this stage I'm going to keep an air of mystery about this particular piece of fabric but yeah I love it I think it's gorgeous and really looking forward to doing our collaboration now the next fabric is a piece of fleece fabric and it is for my older son. Now he asked me to make him a dressing gown and he picked this fabric. We just I just need to find a pattern. I'm after a uh, pattern for a child he's seven but he's probably the age of a nine-year-old and well he's nearly eight so he's sort of he's a, the size of average nine to ten year old I guess because he's so tall um, and something with a hood because he loves to feel really snuggly so if you, anybody's got any pattern recommendations for a kid's uh, dressing gown bathrobe however you describe it um, I'd be really grateful if you could drop it in the comments below for me. So as I said, he picked the fabric and yeah, he's really looking forward to having a snuggly uh, dressing gown to wear this winter. Uh, everybody is talking about uh, obviously the cost of uh, energy, etc. So anything to keep the bills down by us all wrapping up warm, I think is a great idea. Now the last piece of fabric that I have is actually I've made something out of this fabric before but I bought a reasonable amount at the time and it is a, a sweatshirting fabric and I just think I'm going to sew up a couple of pairs of joggers for my boys. Um, I think I've got enough to sew up, yeah I've got enough here still left to sew up uh, some joggers for both my boys and I just think that will be a really nice pattern. I think I've got some uh, matching ribbing fabric in the same colour still as well. So uh, I think possibly the uh, Sinclair patterns pattern and I've completely forgotten the name of the actual pattern. So I'll pop it up on the screen and try and pop a stuck photo in of what I'm talking about as well. Um, because yeah I cannot remember the name of the actual pattern itself I think that one will probably work quite nicely for both boys either that or um, the true bias Hudson pants for kids as well uh, possibly that one um, as well so haven't quite decided on which pattern I'll have a look and decide which one I think will work the best uh, but any opinions on that, please, again, do let me know in the description box below. Now, the, I've got one other make that I'm looking to do this month, which I haven't formulated at all in my head. I am taking part in the challenge 
that is called uh, So Upcycle 22 that has been run by the lovely Karen from So Little Time and Becky from Notes from the Sewing Room and they are running a great challenge uh, through the month of October and there's a whole vlogging tour of which I am taking part in as well. I think my video is for the 29th of October so right at the end of the month so I've still got some time to kind of formulate my plan <laughs> which is good and uh, yeah see what I've got lying around that I can upcycle into something fabulous so that's my another plan for this month that I need to get my head around what I'm going to be doing so that's all of my plans for the month of October as always a tad on the ambitious side some of them hopefully will be quite easy to make uh, because they are jersey makes and uh, so hopefully you know I can whiz them up on the overlocker with just a little bit on the uh, on the sewing machine so hopefully some of them will sew up quite quickly fingers crossed so I think that's everything for me today I think that's all of my plans so I will say goodbye to you for now if you have liked the video, please do give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you would consider doing so. But until next time, take care. Happy sewing. Bye bye.